I love that campfire smell. You know, it reminds me of when I did the fresh air fund. Mm -hmm. And I went downstate and stayed with that family. Yeah, that was the longest summer of my life. Yeah, but it was the first time I ever really saw the woods, you know? Mm. What'd you think? I thought that I wanted to get back to the city. But this I love. I love being here with you. Yeah, this place is cute. I think the Bowers have had this for a long time. It's kind of a good halfway point between here and Chicago. Oh, yeah. It's great. I almost wish we could stay longer. Why almost? Almost because nothing is going to stop me from marrying you tomorrow, Nikki. Hmm. Did I just say Nikki? Because I meant, I meant to say Gus. Did I mention to you that... Remember what you were talking about, how we talk about our past a lot, and, well, mm -hmm. you know, we love our past. Please make no mistake that I very much want to marry the woman who walked back into my life. Good. Because I'm not the little girl anymore. No, you're not. You're a lot hotter. You're hotter. You're hotter. And you can call me Nikki, or you can call me Gus. You can call me Nikki, or you can call <laughs> me Gus. I like the Nikki thing, though, because it's kind of our own little thing. It is. Thing. I'll just see what feels better about that. It's good. Hmm. Were you aware that this cabin only had one bedroom? Well, it's a sleeper sofa thing that I figured I'd be sleeping on tonight. Because, uh, we don't get to be together till we're married. And yeah, that's not easy for me either. Well... Well, I, I know, technically, we're not supposed to be together till the, the... But we're, you know, very close to being married. It's almost, almost the day of. Hey, listen, um, thank you for helping me. Well, where else would I be? Of course. Well, you wouldn't have said that a year ago. Well, you wouldn't have asked me a year ago. Yeah, it's funny, huh? I, uh... I wish we had more time. We have years. Years and years. It's been hell getting to know you, and I deserve some mother-daughter time. Yeah, like helping your mother fake a medical emergency? It won't hurt you to talk to the doctor. After all, you did miss your appointment. What? What is he gonna say to me? What, what, my, your heart's getting weak? You're on the bottom of a transplant list? I maybe he's gonna say you've moved up a notch on the list. Woohoo! someone died. I'm not giving up. Neither am I. Okay, so, we gonna stop Gus from eloping, or what? Do I look sick? Are we gonna do it? I'm not sure. I'm so glad I have you in my life. Me too. It's just so hard for me because I look at you and you look fine and then I just keep forgetting oh, I that forget. you're- I forget too, you know what? I was, th ever since the doctor told me that I could probably would die. I haven't thought about my funeral once, and I'm really quite the planner. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Let me see that. Look, I don't care how people remember me, except for you and Emma. But what people think of me, it used to consume me. And now I just want to live. I want to live, even if it's just for a year. I, I want to spend that time with you and Emma. And Gus. Okay, it's silly. I, I, I know, it's silly. He's new to my life. If I have a short time, I should spend it with someone like Buzz. You know, he's a great guy, and he loves me, or loves me. Then why don't you? You should. Because Gus is a part of this. I can't explain it. You know, it's that moment in your life when you get the most horrific news, and somebody is there for you. He came into my life like a gift. It's like this death sentence was some way of leading him to me. And I know this sounds crazy, but... It hasn't stopped you before. Part of me really does believe he's keeping me alive. And if I lost him... You won't. You know, this, this place is uh, rustic and everything, but it's actually fully functioned. It's got a jacuzzi upstairs, big I jacuzzi, know. with our name right on top of it, which I suggested. the stroke of midnight, we just climb right in there. You know I want to be with you more than anything. Yeah. But I'm thinking at the stroke of midnight we could climb in there because that wouldn't really be cheating. Well, partially cheating, but cheating on who, really? Cheating on ourselves so at the bad. end of the day. Do you really want to start our married life with cheating? With cheating? See, you can't even, <laughs> you can't even say it. I get it. Yeah, so we can still have fun, though. It's, 
the night before we get married and we have champagne. Yeah. And I have something in there that I am going to put on for you. Really? Mm -hmm. In some cultures, that would be considered torture. Will you please make a fire and I will go change? Okay, you make a fire. <laughs> I'm so happy I got in touch with you. It's Ava Peralta. I'm at the hospital with Olivia. It's an emergency. It's my mom. She's having problems breathing. And I took her to the hospital to the emergency room. And I don't know what's going on. There's doctors here, and they're asking me all kinds of questions. And she, she told me about this heart thing a few weeks ago. She told me you're the only one who knows about her condition. Well, I'm a little bit out of town uh, right now. And I know, I know you're on your way to get married right now. And I am so sorry, but I just, I just want, I, 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 my mother would kill me. She would kill me if she knew that I was calling you right now, but I'm freaking out over here and I just don't know what to do. And you're the only one I could call. All right, well, I'll, uh, I'll be there as soon as I can. Is that the station? Yeah, um... I gotta do something back in town for a couple of hours. Um, Is this a surprise for me? I got a surprise for you. I really hate leaving you like that. It's just for a little bit, though. Okay, that's fine. I'll just test out the tub and... Okay. What? What, I wasn't good? No, sweetie, you were fantastic. Why aren't you smiling? Because how long before you really have to make that phone call? It's okay, it's okay. Um, How is she doing? She's been with the doctors all day. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Oh, please don't be mad. I called him. No, it's okay. I'm glad, I'm glad you did. Well, you're supposed to be getting married. You, you don't have to be here. Mm. What, 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 what's going on? The, no, I, nothing. I just uh, had a little trouble breathing, that's all. She thought that she was having a heart attack, okay? She thought she was going to die. Really? Not the first time, won't be the last. What, what did the doctor say? What can he say? My heart's getting weaker. Look, just, you don't need to be here, really. I am fine. Well, maybe we have different definitions of fine. I've been telling her that. Hasn't your office been paging you? I'm not gonna leave you here. I'm gonna take you home and make sure that you're okay. I can't just, that's not necessary. No, no, well, no, no, no. You're gonna need somebody to stay with you. Well, that should be me. Look, you need to have somebody with you. But it should be me. All right, so since we're the only two that know about this, we're going to have to work together. Okay. Right? Look, you've done enough, really. No, wait. As of tomorrow, I'm going to be gone for a couple of days. So you just you let me do this, okay? Are you sure? Yes, I'm quite sure. And don't fight me on it. Take long. Alan! What are you doing here? Well, I uh, know that you and Gus are running off to get married, and I couldn't let you go without the uh, proper Spalding send off. You came here to give us a check? Now, listen, that what fathers are supposed to do. Uh, Help their children when they get married with a little nest egg. Well, you don't have to buy your way into our family. Speaking of family, where, uh, where is my son? He had to run a small errand. Really? Running an errand when uh, you look like that? Okay. <laughs> Stop it. No more. Because I'm marrying your son, so no more comments and no more flirting because it's, it's just wrong. Well, let me tell you something. If I were marrying you and you were wearing something like that, I wouldn't be out running any errands. 
Hello. Hey, it's me. I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, it's probably going to take a little longer. How much longer? Well, as much as it kills me uh, to say this, you probably shouldn't wait up. Okay, I understand. Bye. Ava, sweetie, thank you for coming. Bye. Mm. Is Gus going to be further delayed? Actually, Ellen, can you please do me a big favor? Sure, if I can. Yeah, I'm going to need a ride back to town. All righty. Now you're gonna take it easy, right? Whatever you want, you're just gonna tell me. You want a book, you want a magazine, you want a Look, uh, I, know, I know you told Ava that you would sit with me, but you really don't have to do that. The yeah, doctor said take it easy, and that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna stay calm, okay? All right, so there's nothing I can say to get you to go. Oh, no, there's nothing you can say. So like I said, you want a, Thank you. a book, uh, you want a trashy magazine, you want Yay, ice coffee? that sounds good, but okay. I'm gonna get in my pajamas first, so... All right, I'll help you. Thanks. Where are your pajamas? <laughs> I knew it. I knew I would find you here. Honey. honey. No, it's not, it's, not what you, it's not what you think. No, here's what I think. I think that you ruined my wedding. I also think that you have your sights set on the one Spalding man you haven't had yet. Uh, baby. What do you have to say about this? What possible explanation could you have for being here? The night before our wedding? You're here with her? Again? And what was the little errand that you had to run? Oh, is this your, is this your bachelor party? Is that what this is? This is your last bachelor fling with the town whore? Stop it. Just tell her. Tell her or I no, will. No, you don't have to tell no. anybody. No, remember when you found me on the floor? Oh, please don't, don't do the Philip thing again because I don't believe for one second he knocked you out. You don't know anything about that. But I was on the floor for a reason, okay? I'm dying. I had no intention of telling Gus about my heart condition, okay? He just happened to be here at my lowest point when I was diagnosed, and I was scared. And all I could think about was protecting Emma, because the idea of Philip ever getting his hands on her... See, she doesn't have anybody else, and the truth is I, I volunteered myself. I made him swear not to tell anyone, okay? So that's, that's my fault. And I know it must... I've been strange to see us hanging out so much together, especially when you're, you're planning your wedding. It's just that I was really terrified. You know, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call over to Cedars. They got those nurses that, uh, you know, tend to people for 24 uh, hours a day, do seven do days that. a week. Why? Listen, I'm, gonna, I'm sure that you hate me for not telling you. But when she got called to the hospital like that, you know, emergency, she doesn't have anybody in the family that knows I'm the only one, so she's not supposed to be alone, so what am I, what I'm am I? Just, okay, I'm not, that's not what I'm talking about. I just, I understand, you know, single mother, I was a single mother, I was alone from the moment Rafe was born and in the hospital and yeah. sick. See, I should have, I should have, I should have been that saying, No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying that I get it. Being alone is awful, and being scared. You know, you, you being the adult, and you're taking care of a child, and all you really want is someone to take care of you and make you feel better. You're not alone, Olivia. I will help you. What about uh, us getting married? We will get married. We have time. But I am so sorry. I am so sorry for everything that you're going through. <laughs>